S2. The Asbury Park Board of Education provided accurate notice of this meeting by sending a notice of time, date, location, and to the extent known, the agenda of the meeting to the Asbury Park Press, the new coaster, on January 11, 2022, via email. Copies of this notice have also been placed in the Administration Building Bulletin Board, District Schools, Asbury Park Municipal Building, the Asbury Park Police Department, and filed with the City Clerk on January 11, 2022. The mission statement is the Asbury Park School District will provide all students with a comprehensive and progressive education where everybody possesses the skills and character to succeed in a diverse and evolving global society. Mr. Hastings, roll call. Mr. Grillo? Here. Ms. Lazinski? Here. Dr. Penna? Here. Mr. Remy? Here. Ms. Riggs? Present. Ms. Rod Mr. Rogers? Here. Mr. Saunders? Salisbury. Bay? Ms. Cook. Can you stand for the flag salute, please? Uh, good evening. Um, so there were a couple of things that I want to address that were brought up in um, public comment section. As I mentioned earlier, we are not dissolving or getting rid of the Allied Health Program. We have been actively seeking and interviewing candidates to fill the role of the vacancy from the former employee. I'm happy that the uh, woman came up and introduced herself and provided us with uh, her organization's name, which was provided to our HR director, which we're gonna follow up uh, just in case the candidate that we did interview declines the position. As to the students um, that are in the Allied Health Program, I was around when we first started. So I understand the importance of that program um, and continuing it in its full existence for not only this class of students, but the others. It is unfortunate that the staff member left before the year was out, which any employee has that right to do. However, we have been cognizant of the fact that those students still need services um, and instruction. We have a process whereby we have to advertise, excuse me, we have to post it, approve the posting, have the window open for the posting, interview for the posting, then recommend that that individual be board approved, and then that person starts. So there is a process by which we have to legally adhere to. And it is not an overnight process. As far as the dream students being in the library, the issue is Brookdale has determined that the students could not come on campus. That is not a decision determined by Asbury Park School District. In terms of the supervision, I will look into that in terms of those students not having adequate supervision. I can't respond to something that I don't know. If they are, then we will make every effort to correct that. The other issue regarding Sarah, I had a meeting today with the Student Advisory Committee. Sarah was on that um, Zoom call this afternoon. Um, where there were a variety of things discussed. Sarah's concern, which she voiced regarding um, traveling to Brookdale um, and being treated as a college student. Again, those are issues that are not anything that we can control in terms of Brookdale's um, situation regarding students going on campus. Have we dealt with busing situations? Yes, we have. 
have we dealt with them sending smaller buses in order to have all of our students go? We've been dealing with a variety of those things. However, I will look into that to determine what is the nature of the reason why Brookdale is still not only, only allowing seniors to go on campus. So I wanted to definitely address those, those issues. Um, any other issues regarding personnel, I'm not going to discuss that, I'm, nor am I going to um, get into a conversation and publicly mention a, a leader in this district, because then that's making public comments, which again, we should be mindful of, and I'll just leave it at that. because I just think that there is a professional way to conduct yourself, there's a professional way to, con to convey your dismay without publicly shaming a staff member and someone who is also here uh, working on behalf of the students. I would not do that to an instructional staff member, nor would I do that to a leader in this district. Publicly, that is one thing. Privately, that's a horse of a different color. And I think we need to practice better decorum in that manner. And no one is an exception above that. I have a question. I'm sorry. Uh, can we make sure that next time, starting next meeting, that Sarah has a place at the table here? Because she was here. She was here when the meeting started. I don't know exactly what happened, and I, I really don't care who told her what, but I think a student rep, it being best practices, I think, and it being a new law, and we're still trying to figure out what- And we have two students. student reps as well. Yeah. Right, yes. yeah, yeah, we have we'll two. We'll just add a couple chairs next week. Can we, can we just have a, a, a place for the student rep at the table so sh they're treated as an equal? Oh, sure. Yes. Sure. Okay. I appreciate that. Also, another question, the late start to the second semester, what, what was that comment about? The late start to the second semester deals with the uh, courses. I believe that the staff was already notified of that. Um, that the second semester will start on Monday. I think they're extending it until Friday, dealing with grades. But I will get that clarity and provide that uh, information. We used to get updates on that. Updates to what? Something significant like that. Schedules, adjustments? No, that's not something that the board normally gets. So that's an operational. It's an operation, but it seemed to be dysfunctional that most of these dysfunctional the schedules at the at the schedules for student and operations are, are altered all the time. So there the, and I want us to be very mindful of our wording, dysfunction, chaos. Again, those are things that are detrimental when we start talking about retaining students in this district. We are in a public meeting. We're talking about our functioning as a district. We have someone come up to the microphone from Neptune and lambaste us and then walk out as if it is okay. There's a level of dignity and pride that has to be established as well as, again, going back to decorum. Now, I'm not lecturing anyone, but every time somebody gets to that microphone and slams Asbury Park, that impacts our ability to retain students. That impacts our ability to retain funds. That impacts our ability to tell our story. So we need to be mindful and protect the sanctity of our district when people come up and are saying things that are in the detriment of the students and the hardworking staff. And I don't care whether they have disagreements with myself and other associations. At the end of the day, we can disagree and we have to be role models for the students in all things and at all times. 
how we come to the microphone, how we voice our displeasure, how we celebrate, because I didn't see anybody booing when we were celebrating staff and students earlier. But the crab in the cup mentality when the microphone comes to public session is a disgrace. And for the first time, I'm going to say it needs to stop. Because it is deplorable. I'd like to address that, uh, Superintendent. I'm hoping we don't we remind ourselves that as role models, we have to align ourselves with what's going on in this district. And yes, some of the ways that people are expressing themselves may be deplorable. But we want, we need to get information. If it's not being given, they feel that they need to voice their opinion. We want to get a respectable approach to that. But we want an open and honest dialogue. And people want to have answers. We need to get these things done so we can fix this district because we have fantastic kids, we have fantastic staff, our facilities are improving, but we have to work at getting this done. With all due respect. Right, let me, let me, let me just, I've been here a long time. I don't want to say how long because it's been way too long. And that mic has always been open and people have been able to say what they have to say and they were never told not to. And I don't think that this board or the administration or anybody here would say they don't want somebody to come to that mic and say what they need to say or ask questions. So I don't know how people feel if you're saying somebody feels they can't. This has never been a place where people cannot come and speak their mind. People always have. So I'm not sure what, where that, that's coming from. So just so you know. Well, and with with I, all I, due I, respect, um, Board Member Rogers, transparency is one of the things that I have provided to this board since I've stepped into this seat. And I will continue to do that. So the misnomer that somehow there's a cloak of deception in the operation and the function of this district is flat out untrue. The clarity and the rules and the expectation regarding personnel, those things will never be discussed in public session. The decisions and the operation of this district reside and rest with my professional experience and expertise. The governance, I will always defer to the board. The governance, I will always defer to the board. The governance, I will always defer to the board, but the operation and the execution of the operation and the professional expertise of the staff will always reside at the seat of the superintendent. And I take that role and responsibility very seriously. So when we get into the governance of what the operation of this district, then I will, I will acquiesce to the board each and every time each and every time. But understand, this fight does not just rest at the seat of the superintendent nor the board. The fight to improve this district is, takes a holistic approach. And there has been full transparency since I've been sitting in this seat. And accountability, not only for myself, who I hold myself to a very high standard, but that standard does not escape me, and no one is above reproach. No one. Can I make a quick suggestion? Hold on one second.
let me, we're going to go in exact, let me read this. Uh, whereas the Open Public Meetings Act allows for the exclusion from discussion at the public portion of a meeting of certain matters as outlined, as I'm going to say, and whereas the Asbury Park Board of Education wishes to discuss such matters made and will make such discussion public when a proper conclusion has been reached, now for, be it resolved at the, at the January 26, 2023, Asbury Park, New Jersey, for the purposes of um, client attorney privilege and uh, personnel matters, uh, we're going to go into executive session. Can I have a motion, please? Well, before, um, I'm sorry. Well, before we, before we. Set, motion's on the table. Uh, I'll second it then. What happened to the suggestion? Though? All in. Uh, motion on the table. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, ladies and gentlemen uh, who are joining us this evening, the board's going to retire to executive session for approximately 45 minutes to an hour, after which time the board will be returning to public session uh, and we will be taking further action in public during public session when we reconvene. Thank you. Exec, we're back in public. Roll call, Mr. Hastings. Mr. Grillo? Here. Ms. Lazinski? Here. Dr. Penna? Here. Mr. Remy? Here. Ms. Ricks? Present. Uh, Mr. Rogers? I'm going to open up for uh, public participation. Board policy 0167, if anybody wants to make a comment. I'm going to close. Um, let's see. We have the HIV report, or no, not tonight. Did you want to add anything, Superintendent? Um, nope. And um, I want to read a resolution. It's School Board Recognition Month, and whereas the New Jersey School Boards Association has declared January 2023 to be the School Board Recognition Month, a time when all residents can acknowledge the contributions made by our local school board members and whereas the Asbury Park Board of Education is one of 581 local school boards in New Jersey, which sets policies and oversees operations for public school districts and whereas the Asbury Park Board of Education embraces the goal of high quality education for all New Jersey public school students and whereas the New Jersey local school board helped determine the educational goals for approximately 1.4 million children in pre-kindergarten pre through 12th grade. And whereas New Jersey's 5,000 local school board members who receive no renewing, rem, I don't even know how to say that word, remuneration, remuneration. Sorry, it happens. For their services, act as advocates for the public school students as they work with administrators, teachers, and parents for the betterment of public education. Whereas the school board strive to provide the resources necessary to meet the needs of all students, including those with special needs. And whereas boards of education provide accountability to the public, they communicate the needs of the school district to the public, and they convey to school administrators the public's expectation for schools. And whereas New Jersey can take pride in its schools, which rank among the nation's best and key achievement indicators, such as the National Assessment of Education Progress Scores and the preparation of college through advanced placement offer, offer, offerings and SAT assessments. Now, they are, therefore, be it resolved that the Asbury Park Board of Education does hereby recognize the services of local school board members throughout New Jersey as we join communities statewide in observance of January 2023 as School Board Recognition Month and be it further resolved that the Asbury Park Board of Education urges all New Jersey citizens to work with their local school boards of education and public school staff towards the advancement of our children's education. Um, I also want to show a nice little um, certificate from the General Assembly, <coughs> commendation and praise to extend the Asbury Park Board of Education for the citizenry of the 11th New Jersey Legislative District through their educate elected official representatives in recognition of dedicated service to the school children of Asbury Park this school board recognition month 2023. So it's very nice. And thank you, Dr. <coughs> Adams, for these wonderful succulents that we've got here. Yes, it's very nice. Succulents are hardy, hardy plants, just like we have to be on the school board sometimes, so appreciate it. <laughs> and uh, except the minutes, uh, we have 11A, B, C on A2, 
I'm going to motion, motion to accept. B on A2. I'm going to motion, motion to accept. Second. Mr. Hastings. It's acceptance of minutes uh, A2, 11, A through C. Mr. Uh, Ms. Ricks. Ms. Ricks. Acceptance of minutes? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Mr. Grillo? Yes. Ms. Lezinski? I'm going to abstain from uh, the organization meeting the others, uh, yes. The reorg, I wasn't here. Thank you. Dr. Penna? Yes. Mr. Remy? Yes. Mr. Rogers? Yes. Thank you. Motion carries. <laughs> Dr. Adams, your agenda? Good evening. I ask for a consent uh, agenda for all items B1, 1, B1 through uh, B8, number 20. I'll move it. Questions, comments? Mr. Hastings. All items B1 number one through B8 number two. Ms. Lazinski? Yes. Ms. Ricks? Yes, yes, on everything that they can abstain from anything that might have to do with the wards. Thank you. Mr. Grillo? Yes. Dr. Penna? Yes. Mr. Remy? Yes. Mr. Rogers? Yes. Items carry. Mr. Hastings, your agenda. Do you have a motion for all items C1, number one, through C5, number 10? Move it. Mm -hmm. I'll second. Questions, comments? Is that Mr. Rogers moved? Uh, Mr. Grillo, I'm sorry. Mr. Grillo? Uh, too many mics on. Yes, but I need to abstain on uh, any bills paid to uh, New Jersey American Water, Grillo, or Azure Park Sewer Department. Thank you. Ms. Ricks? Yes. Thank you. Ms. Lazinski? Yes. Dr. Penna? Yes. Mr. Remy? Yes. And Mr. Rogers? Yes. Thank you. Motion's carried. Could I have a motion to adjourn, please? Can I say oh, one wait. thing? Yes. I want to thank the board uh, and the folks that remained. Uh, we did, you did approve our chemistry teacher, um, which we've been lacking in a very hard position to fill uh, this evening. Um, and I want to reiterate that um, the concerns of the students this evening have not fallen on deaf ears. Um, I will make sure that I'm there tomorrow to um, get to the bottom of some of the things that I've already expected to be put in place and to monitor that they are, and if they aren't, to make adjustments to why they are not in place. But we have no intention to um, dismantle, adjust, or end the Allied Health Program at all ever while we still have the CTE program and we're under the Perkins grant. Um, and I want to make that very clear. Um, and so again, there was a lot of misinformation and I want to make sure that we give accurate information. As the superintendent and the board, we are the only individuals that can publicly and legally end a program. I have not made that recommendation and the board has not supported uh, that recommendation. And there will be no recommendation of the like. Thank you. Uh, somebody made a motion to close? Or? Move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? 